So in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about um, gardeners rates and how much you can earn as a gardener. Now I'm going to talk about um, a one man band like myself uh, who does garden maintenance. I don't do any sort of landscaping, <sighs> just had my dinner. Uh, so I don't do um, turfing, fencing, um, let's think, any sort of laying patios or you know that, that kind of thing. So it's uh, grass cuts, hedge cuts, uh, border work, weeding and planting, uh, garden clearances, tidies, that sort of thing. So at the end of the video as well, I'm going to tell you uh, the maximum amount that I've earned in one day, um, which isn't bragging, it's just to give you an idea of uh, the potential. Um, and, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of pricing and stuff as well. So being a gardener can be both difficult and rewarding at the same time you're your own boss which um, brings a lot of pressures but it also gives you a, a relative amount of freedom in terms of uh, picking your jobs and um, you know planning your own diary which is brilliant um, you're outside in all weathers that's good and bad I don't mind working in you know when it's cold it's sort of autumn winter time I don't mind that um, obviously the kind of work we do, you know, unless you're doing other things like fencing, which is uh, good winter work, um, you know, the, the work does die down. Uh, the winter just gone, um, I got enough work to keep us ticking over, which was brilliant. You make your money from sort of March to November-ish. And, um, you know, if you're doing well, and if you're able to, you know, if it's possible, you can uh, put a little bit away for the winter. I, I try to have a winter fund just in case I need to kind of, you know, uh, dip into it, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so what can you earn as a gardener? Well, it depends how much you want to put in. So in terms of hours, I always stay away from charging an hourly rate because personally I find that restrictive. There'll be people watching this and that's what they do uh, and that's fine. I'm just talking about my own experiences here. So I feel like if I'm charging a set amount, say I was charging £25-£30 an hour and um, I was out say, from so my hours at the moment are around about, if I can get cracking, get the van loaded for about half past eight, get back at maybe three-ish, something like that. And then you've got to unload the van, which is extra time on top, and then, you know, sort whatever you have to sort out, you, you don't necessarily finish then. But my day looks a little bit like a half eight to three o'clock kind of thing, and then I've, I've got to try and fit the allotment in, film, YouTube, everything, and family life, it's uh, it's difficult. So I personally uh, couldn't be out half eight, nine o'clock, or five, six o'clock at night. Sometimes I have. I've been dependent on the job, and... Um, you know, if needs must, and uh, occasionally I'll work uh, the odd weekend and stuff like that, especially if the weather's been bad, just, just to catch up. Uh, but that's kind of me hours, so it's around half eight or three o'clock. So if you're doing an hourly rate, I just find that you're limiting yourself, you, you're capping your earnings. That's that's the way I look at it. And um, there's a whole spectrum of gardening work from kind of general prune and light prune and deadhead and your, your basic kind of I'd say light border work that kind of thing to like heavy digging big hedges taking loads of waste away well, obviously if I take waste I charge extra but I'm talking about the cleaning up the bagging up why should that be the same price you know for me um, I price per job based on um, how long it's going to take what gear do I need to use? How hard is it on my body? And that's what I'm thinking of a lot more now. Um, how, how am I going to feel after the job? You know, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's personally why I do a charge on a job by job basis. But everyone's different, as I say, I'm not having to go at those who are charging by the hour. That's, that's completely your choice. So your earnings, um, Everyone's different, so you've got to look at your costs and you've got to look at your standard of living, which is really important. I thought she was going to uh, clip me van there. <laughs> um, you know, have you got debt? Have you got a Mercedes sitting on the drive that needs paying for? Have you got a partner who just loves to spend your money? Um, 
that's so one person could be different to another person and that that one person might need a lot more money than the other person you know five years into it you're going to be earning more than what you were in year one probably if you're decent if you're still going after five years you must be doing something right so i assume you would be decent um so it's all about building up your your customer your customer base and uh your round and um you know most of my work now comes from word of mouth so um the most i've earned in one day and this was i was taking out hedges i was basically gutting the garden they'd ordered a skip i was filling the skip so i think i was out from like i think i got in about half past six so it was like nine till six or whatever half six um and that was 360 quid um hard work physical work i actually had some help on that one yeah that was the one i actually did have help on so i obviously had to give him some money as well um so i mean i've i've done 200 quid days um 250 quid days plenty of 100 pound days um in the earlier years i've done maybe not full days but because i haven't maybe had the the work to, to put in the diary um 60 70 80 pounds um what's what's your average day let's let's think on average day uh, it, it could be kind of anywhere between sort of 120 130 140 150 could be a, a average an average day uh, there's a spectrum it depends how long you're doing it for it depends on your pricing whether you're getting your pricing right or you're kind of messing up a little bit and charging a bit less um it, it, it varies hopefully this video has given you a bit of a general idea of what you can potentially earn um whilst remembering that a lot of it is seasonal work but there are jobs to be done during the winter and you know if you specialize in other areas like fencing you know you can you can certainly see your your income stay at a, at a good level um so i hope that's helped uh if you've got any questions let me know uh i can't always answer i get hundreds and hundreds of messages uh, now on the channel and uh, i can't always uh, reply i do my best uh, but it takes so much time as well but um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one guys uh, i'll see you in the next one cheers